Now an update on the breaking news we brought you on Eyewitness News Live at 5. State police seized more than 8 pounds of heroin and arrested two suspects in a traffic stop in Warwick. Troopers just wrapped up a news conference within the past hour. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado is there. She joins us now live at State Police Headquarters in Situate. Well, the state police colonel says in 31 years on the job, he's never seen this much heroin seized from a traffic stop. An enormous amount of heroin off the streets tonight. The whole idea of this is trying to prevent death. So the, the seizure of over four kilos, which is almost nine pounds of heroin, is significant. Police say it started with a traffic stop on 95 in Warwick on Wednesday. A state police trooper pulled a car over because it had tinted windows and an expired registration. The trooper smelled marijuana and called backup. It was a Warwick police canine that sniffed out narcotics in this box of Insure, a protein shake. Beneath the Insure bottles were eight white shiny packages labeled Cafecito Rico. Police say 23-year-old Kaylin Antoine was the driver and 20-year-old Sergio Torres the passenger, both from New York. State Police Colonel Stephen O'Donnell says it's an example of how drugs are being trafficked. The drugs are coming up the highway into Rhode Island. The drugs seized were worth $800,000. O'Donnell says they would ultimately be sold for millions. All of it now off the street. This is just a, a piece of the puzzle. The rest has to do with recovery. And the governor commended police today for making a dent in the heroin epidemic. Antoine and Torres are being held at the ACI pending bail hearings on September 24th. They're facing a number of drug charges that could amount to 50 years in prison. Live in situate tonight with the Mobile Newsroom, Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.